Another great property on the container is the flex wrap property. By default, all the flex items in a container will try to fit into a single line. If there is not enough space, the items simply overflow. So if I reduce the browser width, you can see that the items begin to shrink and then are no longer in view. Now you can change this behavior using the flex wrap property. Let's take a look. I'm going to go back to the CSS file and to the container class, I'm going to add a new property, which is the flex wrap property. Now keep in mind, I haven't removed the display flex property on the container and I never will throughout the series. Now flex wrap property can accept three possible values. The first one is no wrap. This is the default value. If I refresh the browser, you can see that there is no change. If you want the items to wrap within the container, then we set a value of wrap. Now, if I refresh the browser and reduce the browser width, you can see that the items have wrapped in the container. The wrapping takes place as and when needed. If there is not enough space for just one item, item nine, for example, you can see that only item nine moves into the next row. Reduce the size further, item eight moves to the next row and so on. And the final possible value is wrap reverse. What wrap reverse does is instead of items falling into the row below, it climbs into the row above. Let me show you that in the browser. I'm going to go back, refresh. And if I reduce the browser width, you can see that item nine, instead of moving to the row below, moves to the row above. Do not get confused that wrap reverse wraps in the reverse order of the items. So item one does not move to the next row if there is no sufficient space. Wrapping always occurs from the last item. Wrap reverse just pushes the last item above instead of below. Now similar to horizontal wrapping, vertical wrapping is also possible. And for that, we need to change the flex direction to column and add a height to the flex container. So let's remove this for now and add a flex direction of column and set a height of 400 pixels. Now, if you observe very closely, the border ends at item seven and the rest of the items are overflowing the container. If I add flex wrap and set it to a value of wrap, you can see that the items are now wrapped within the container. Item one to six fit in one column and then the rest of the items have to move on to the next column. So a column is created to the right and items are placed in that column. And if I change the value to wrap reverse, the items are placed in a new column to the left of the existing column. That's pretty much the flex wrap property. So the flex wrap property is used to control the wrapping of flex items within the container. The possible values are no wrap, which is default, wrap, which wraps the content into the next row or next column, and wrap reverse, which wraps the content into the previous row or previous column.